All right, hey YouTube, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of Jazzy Time. Um, unfortunately, I lost my intro and outro to these videos, so I'm going to have to voice over. So uh, I started with uh, my hospital grade uh, sanitizer and uh, also isogel. So I do a dual sanitizer cleansing of my hands before I work. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go through. I am removing my old design and uh, any lifting that I may have and my length. I do go through a different filing routine with my left, or using my left uh, on my right as I am not a lefty. So uh, you'll notice that I hold my drill uh, a bit differently and I do uh, tend to stop and have to stretch my hand because my thumb does get quite cramped when I hold it this way. So I'm just going through my general uh, filing routine for my right hand. And yeah. So going around the cuticle, I turn um, I turn my drill speed all the way down when I dress around the cuticle and uh, side walls and then I turn it up to remove the design. Voiceover works. I've never done voiceover before. So, you know, trying new things. Alright, so I kind of um, back brush my hand to get rid of the dust and get stuff out of the way. I do everything totally backwards when I'm doing my knob job. And I'm just checking, make sure I don't have any listings, making sure I get everything off. You notice my hand fly back there. Um, often when I do my right hand, again because <laughs> I'm using my non-dominant hand, my hand, uh, or I'm sorry, the drill does kind of fly off the left side of my nail and kind of, I just kind of bring my hand back like so, so that uh, I don't cause injury to myself. Because it is so hard to use a Dremel with your left hand when you are not lefty. Checking and wiping. So when I wipe, I'm looking for uh, any little white pockets or anything that might show. So any lifting that I can brush out. And that nail is so terrible. I had, um, I had a chip and then I just kind of kept chipping and chipping and it was just terrible. I do end up taking a lot of this one off. That's stretching my hand. It's so cramped. Oh, look at this. And I'm trying to show you like this is a pocket, but uh, my camera doesn't really want to go. There is a white pocket behind it. forwarded this, uh, but I am on a very good example. Sometimes you get really bad bits, and that can definitely happen. to uh, change my arbor band there because sometimes when I use uh, polish, regular polish, in their gel, it tends to take the arbor band. So I do end up changing my arbor band in a little bit here. But still working on that lifted area that seems to be 
and within the, na the nail. Hard sometimes with cold coverage, you don't always notice that, I think. Unfortunately, I found my thumb is the most awkward when I'm doing left-handed. And coming up here, there's going to be a great example. Uh, when you get bulk arbor bands, um, they're not always the greatest sometimes and you don't always notice and stuff like that like stuff like this is gonna happen so I, I'm waiting for that part to come up and like see because even though we get professional tools they don't always you know have that 100% like you think you're going to have on them you think you, you buy high quality things and they're always gonna be cool but yeah So this one is a Doug Arbor, Arbor band, sorry. Um, so you'll see it'll catch and it'll just fly apart. Right there. So it caught on the lifting there and it just flew apart. Didn't hurt, but uh, you know, these things do happen, so I switched to another fresh arbor band and just going with the uh, going with the flow here. Taking all the all the lifting out and I end up taking off pretty much the majority of that uh that nail also, there so that we can start on a twenty caravan. Oh no new. Yeah, I gotta open stuff over here. to my bonder oh no I'm not going to my bonder <laughs> not quite yet um, I grabbed out a 180 grit file and just to give my hand kind of a break um, I started filing so I, d I go through a totally different filing routine on my right as I think I mentioned a couple times uh, ago here and uh, I'm shaving my sidewalls because I was kind of in a squabble and I'm trying to get them to match so I'm just shaping my sides and uh, bringing my length down. And comparing my hands to the other side. So you'll see me crisscross my hands a few times. Just comparing nail to nail to make sure that uh, the general shape and length is the same as the opposite hand. Which is a good practice to get into. And I've noticed too, so I have the peel and stick files there and I've noticed I really only use that much of the file. So I cut mine in half, such a game changer and money saver too, because I literally throw those out between clients and a full file is 16 cents. So yeah, I was throwing away 16 cents every single time. So cut them in half, works just the same. Okay and save you money. Filing into my favorite shape, the little coffin. I tried to go long there for a little while, but just wasn't working. with some cleanser, dis disinfecting cleanser, and a lint-free pad. Double checking my shape. 
grabbing out my bonders. So my bonders, I actually um, color coordinate them with brushes. So I'm going in with a dehydrator. So ours is called NI or Nail Innovations. Uh, this is called Dehydration with a Z. They spell everything with a Z or a Z, wherever you're from. So I, my recipe is uh, two coats of dehy. Just second, just second. And then two coats of connection. And in between both uh, coats, I cure for 30 seconds to encourage drying, even though it is a no cure, but uh, the lamp encourages it to dry. Gotta stabilize my fingers. Not doing so good. Stuff falling over. So we do a little.